Hello and welcome to the Bike Century. My name's Ben and today I'm going to be showing you around this CBR 650R. Now the 650R is aimed at um, maybe a first time rider who's looking for a super sport machine uh, that's not too radical in terms of riding position or someone looking for a lightweight uh, sporty fared bike. Um, it's powered by an inline four engine that produces just over 90 brake horsepower. The riding position is a little bit more neutral than uh, a full-on sport bike. So the bars, as you can see, are a little bit higher relative to the seat position. So uh, it just helps you to keep your back a little bit straighter um, and it's a little bit easier on the hands and the wrists compared to a CBR 600 RR, for example. This particular bike's a 69 plate. It's done less than 6,000 miles from new. It's in really, really nice condition. Uh, it's finished in this satin black um, and it's accented with some red decals. It looks absolutely stunning. And it's a really, really nice looking bike. It's got 17 inch wheels. Um, this particular one comes with uh, some uh, Bridgestone Battle Axe tires, a standard, uh, which are a really good all round sport road tire. Uh, it comes with twin discs, which are made by Brembo, but it's got four part radially mounted Nissan brakes. Um, and of course has got ABS. There's a limited amount of adjustment on the front forks. It's not really the kind of bike that you want to fettle with, but it does have a really, really good front end, really, really comfortable, uh, very responsive. As I said, it's finished in like a satin black. It's not matte, so you can clean it. You don't have to worry too much about the, uh, the paint finish. Um, looks really, really cool in this kind of phantom color scheme. And it's been really well loved and looked after. Cosmetically, really, really clean and tidy. There is just one blemish worth mentioning. Just on the right hand side, on the lower side of this engine case, uh, the previous owner unfortunately um, just lent it up against something accidentally. But uh, no damage to the actual bodywork, bar ends, mirrors or anything like that. So uh, it's clear the bike didn't go all the way over, but of course always worth mentioning. Other than that, cosmetically on this side, very, very clean and tidy. It's near enough a standard bike. It does have uh, an SC Projects exhaust on there, which looks and sounds awesome. It's a carbon fiber exhaust. Uh, it's not obnoxiously loud, just opens up that, uh, that inline four and uh, brings a little bit of the, uh, the, the exhaust note out. It's also got a, a towel tidy on the back end, as you can see. Lots and lots of accessories available for this bike. Um, paddock stand bobbins, RNG crash protectors, seat cowls, and, and, and. Obviously, being a, a popular and relatively new bike, there are lots of accessories out there. So if you're interested in any of that stuff, uh, let us know because we do offer free fitting on accessories when purchased with one of our bikes. As I said, the riding position is quite neutral, uh, similar to a naked bike, I would say. So the, the seat is relatively low uh, and the pillion seat not much higher. So quite comfortable if you're riding two up uh, regularly. And the bar height, as you can see there, they are clip-on bars, but they are on risers. So they're ever so slightly higher than you would expect from a, a full-on super sport machine. So you've probably got a good three inches or so difference um, compared to a full-on super sport machine. Around the front, it's got this very Fireblade esque front end. If you compare this to the, the Fireblade around 2019, the front fairing is almost identical. Um, it does have a slightly taller double bubble screen, um, which I believe is a Honda original part. Around this side, it's very much the same. Again, very clean and tidy. No marks or scratches on this side uh, to speak of. Very, very clean and tidy bike. Obviously things like chains, sprockets, brakes, tires, they all get checked during our pre-delivery inspection. So if we do find anything that uh, needs replacing through wear and tear, that sort of thing, they all get done and replaced uh, automatically. This bike is fitted with a quick shifter as well. Um, I believe that's a factory fit option on this bike, um, which is a rare thing to have on a 650cc bike like this, but it's a nice thing to have. Uh, it just aids your shift as you go up through the, uh, the gearbox. It comes with two keys, all the original owner's manuals and service history. Uh, not a TFT dash on these, but it is uh, a full digital dash. It gives you all the information that you would need. So you've got your rev counter around the left-hand side. Obviously your gear position is just here. Um, fuel gauge, clock, um, obviously all of your trip information is displayed here. Your temperature's on the right, obviously your speedo. Uh, and there you go, you've got the mileage 5,772 from new. Let's give the bike a start up for you.
It's got a really nice um, crisp Honda engine sound. That exhaust just gives it the right amount of noise. It's not obnoxiously loud. It's not going to offend anybody, but uh, it certainly sounds a lot nicer than the standard can would. This bike's going to come with a three-month warranty. It will come with free delivery to England and Wales. We can offer delivery to, delivery to Scotland for a small charge. Um, we offer finance and part exchange, so if those are things that you're interested in, or if you've got any general questions, please feel free to reach out. Uh, we've got WhatsApp, live chat, all the socials. Pick up the phone and ask us any questions that you've got, or feel free to drop into the showroom and try to buy a Comfort Size. That's it from me. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care.